Hey guys, so this week I bought one of these, which is another uh, water flosser, but actually it's like an air and water flosser, and it's by Philips. Currently, I use this one, which is a brown Oral-B water flosser, which I got when um, I think the first week after I had my braces uh, put in, I got this after watching some videos. Um, it was on a deal um, on Amazon for something like half price. So I thought, why not? And it has served me really well uh, for the past few months. And actually it's still amazing now. Um, there is one slight thing um, that's wrong with it at the moment that when you attach this, and this is where you put the water in, when you put this and attach it onto the actual water faucet part itself, um, usually it's got a little tab uh, that would mean it will click in place, but that broke off. I've got it here actually. This little part actually broke off. So we're gonna send this back to hopefully get this part replaced so that we can continue to use uh, this one. But instead, got this. So. I haven't opened it yet, so I wanted to open it with you guys and actually test it out on camera. So let's open it. Okay, so. Ooh. Right. Instruction pad. Are you one of those who just assembles things or just sets things up and then start using it without reading the instructions? Or do you read instructions? I'm one of the ones that read the instructions. So, charger. <clears throat> okay, all right, let's take this cellophane plastic off. Again, are you one of those guys as well that keeps these on for as long as possible, or do you take it off straight away? Especially with mobile phones, I take mine off straight away. Right, let's set that aside. two nozzles and the water flosser, right. Amazing. So let's get one of these out. I go for blue or white. I'm going to go for blue. Okay. <clears throat> so, what do we do first? So much paperwork. Oh, maybe it's this one. Right, let's have a look. Here we go. Everyone loves the instructions. All right, so it says, first of all, to plug this in. So let's plug this in over here. My wall socket is just there. So let's plug that one in. Right, it's in. And it says it should be flashing green, or it should be flashing. This is black and white, but it says it should be flashing. So that's what it's currently doing at the moment. Excellent, very good. And then you attach the head facing away. Right, so let's attach that one there. Right, so let's run some water so we have some warm water. Okay, and then we just stick, right. So I think this has got enough battery at the moment. Right, so let's quickly run through these again. So put this in, tick. Open this part up and then fill it with water and then click it back. Right, so it's warm yet. Yeah? <clears throat> okay. Oh, 
wow, that's like barely any water compared to my previous flosher. Okay, right, let's turn that off so you can hear me better. Ah, right, so maybe I need to show you this. So, <clears throat> sorry, it's a bit wet. You've got setting one, which is just a spray, and then you press the top button here. So, setting one is just that single spray. Setting two is, it looks like a double spray. And then three, of course, a triple spray. So, well, I don't know, let's try it out. I'll do it on my hand first, just so I can see what the pressure is like, because you never know how strong these things are. When I started using this one, um, when I put it on my hand first, I couldn't believe the strength that was actually coming out of this. And you can tell when you put it on your hand, like it's actually making an indent on your skin. And then it just makes me, it makes me think that your, our teeth are so strong because when you put this against your teeth, it's nowhere near as, uh, how should I say, because it's not really painful, as sensitive as it is when you do it against the, against the skin. So super powerful, but I'm gonna try this out on my hand first. Right, it's got water in it. So it's on setting three. Okay, let's start with one. And then you press the top button. All right, let's have a look. What the hell? <laughs> no, that's just air. Oh, right, okay, there's water. Oh, <laughs> it just flew on. <laughs> right. Is this supposed to click in? Ah, uh, okay. Click. <laughs> Okay, right. So you're supposed to hold this down. Ah, okay. Oh, that's really slow. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a single pulse. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know. Okay, right. Let's try the other setting. Oh, excellent. So this actually shows you as well the level of the water. So you know when you need to fill it up. I don't know why I'm so excited about that because you can clearly see how much water's in here. Oh, do it. Right, okay. Let's try number two, okay. Ah, uh, that's more like, okay, that's what I thought it would be. It's pretty powerful, that. Okay, right. And then of course I'm guessing just pressing it onto setting number three would just be just the three. Okay, cool. Yes, oh sorry. I'm doing it to my hand, I'm not even showing you. Right, how, okay, here we go. Can you see that bouncing off my skin? My hand? Hmm? Right. Let's try first a single one in my mouth and let's go from there. Right. So, according to this, you're supposed to actually, rather than with this one, where you just kind of let the water just run through. I'll, I'll show you my routine with this um, after I've had a play around with this one. So this one, you kind of just press it on and then it just you just hold it over your teeth like this. Whereas it looks like this, it actually tells you to target those areas in between your teeth. This picture probably best describes it here, this one. Which does make sense because that's what you kind of, that's what you should be aiming for, I suppose. So, right, let's give it a go then. Let's just put it on setting number three because that's probably what I would use it on all the time. So there's that one. I'm gonna fill up with water because it's already at this level here. So let's just top that up. Right, okay, let's go for it.
Mm. Okay, different. <clears throat> right, give us one sec. Okay, so completely different to, to this one. I suppose my teeth are already clean. Um, I had lunch a couple of hours ago and of course I brushed my teeth since then. And I did use this one. I, I, I feel like I need to have dinner tonight and then brush my teeth and then use this. And because I already know what my teeth feel like when I use this one. So brush my teeth and then use this. So maybe when I have dinner tonight and then brush my teeth afterwards and then use this, I'll be able to tell the difference from there. But I can feel the power on it against my teeth. Um, that's there. If anything, it's probably a little bit more powerful than the uh, Oral-B brown one uh, because this also uses air as well as water. So, and it really, I can feel it go through the gaps in my teeth, especially this gap here. It goes through, I can feel it go through it. So I'm impressed. But I do feel like I need to have a, a proper clean with my teeth that I can actually tell the difference between. Oh, and another thing as well. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I could keep the water in my mouth. I did have to spit out uh, the excess water occasionally. I think I did it twice. But with this, you just need to open your mouth and let it just run out. So I'm actually going to fill this up and show you. Because the my new one, the Philips one, is more pulse. Whereas this one is just constant. So here I just put it on a sensitive setting. Um, and then this is where you can change the setting on the head itself, whether you want it to be like a single stream, a single stream, or the water will come out in like circles like this and it will just target more of the two. So let's just put it on the circular motion. I am gonna have a cleaning video, a how I clean my teeth video coming out and I will be using both. So um, look out for that video as well. So let me just show you how this one works and it's messy and you just need to leave your mouth open to just allow the water to just come out because it just floods your mouth. Okay, so sensitive. Right, here we go. So, as you can see with, as you can see with this, see, that's what happens when the tab breaks and it's not attached properly onto your water floss. <laughs> right. So, as you saw with this, it's just a constant stream of water that you're just targeting into your teeth. I suppose, first time thinking the first time thinking of this, it's, I don't necessarily feel like it's actually getting rid of the food and the, the, the bits of food that's inside and in between your teeth, uh, because it's just a mixture of air and water. Whereas here is what I've been used to for the past few months. Um, at least I know and I can feel the water targeting all the areas. And because this is just pulsing instead, it's like you have to kind of, you wait whilst it does one tooth, in between one tooth, then you move on to the next one. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I am happy with it, don't get me wrong. I just want to be able to clean my teeth with it so that I can really see, uh, see and feel the difference. So let me try it again. I mean, now that I've recently had, um, now that I recently used this one, and I went back to this one, you can tell that the power is definitely there. Okay, let's wait till dinner. But there we go. There's the unboxing of the Philips Sonicare or Air and Water Flosser, I suppose it's called. 
and we'll wait until dinner and then I'll update you in my regular braces vlog to let you know how it is. So thank you for watching. Until next time, ciao.